Uh, I saw an article about Jeff Bezos, and the article read, Jeff Bezos would owe $2 billion a year under the proposed Washington wealth tax. Uh, I believe this tax is going after people that um, have a billion dollars or more. And, you know, uh, Jeff Bezos have, has a couple billion, more than a couple billion. I think, what, he's over 100 billion now? Mm -hmm. So I'll read you a snippet of the article. It says that, uh, legislators estimate the tax would raise about $2.5 billion in new revenue. About 100 taxpayers in the state have wealth in excess of $1 billion, according to the State Department of Revenue. Uh, but experts say the levy would only target about a dozen individuals. So, the, so they're saying $2.5 billion, but only targeting a dozen individuals. <laughs> Wait, where is this money going to again? The the state of Wa is it, is Washington State. Um, would only, uh, would be overly relevant on four of them, Bezos, Steve Ballmer, Bill Gates, and Mackenzie Scott. So those are the four people that would pretty much predominantly be giving 2.5 billion to, I guess the state of Washington, according to the recent analysis published by, uh, Jared Walz Walzak at the tax foundation, 97% of the revenue. Uh, from the tax would come from those mega billionaires. Bezos, worth about 190 billion, would owe about 1.9 billion a year in taxes under the proposal. Gates, worth about 123 billion, would owe about 1.2. Balmer, worth about 80 billion, would owe about 800 million. And Scott Bezos' ex-wife would own uh, owe roughly 570 million. Um, so yeah, uh, they're looking at taxing the rich and taking it for the state. <laughs> Yeah, making the state richer, but not the people richer. Yeah, what are they going to do with it, right? Stupid. So, okay, I know, and and I know some people are going to say like, "Hey, good, tax the rich." Okay, I and and I'm not defending the rich, but in a way, I'm kind of defending the rich people. So, if you do your research, do your research on this. There's YouTube videos that explain how tax brackets work. The rich they get taxed more than anybody else. The reason why they continue to stay rich and be rich is because of what, of how they invest their stuff. There's, they get taxed harder. Yeah. They get taxed worse. Like it's, it, it, you know, like I know some people are like, Oh good. They're rich. Anyway, you should tax them anyway. Like, trust me, if you had anybody out there listening, if you had a hundred billion dollars and if they're just like, Hey, you know what? We're going to tax you. 2 billion a year. We know you're making X amount of money, but we're going to tax you 2 billion a year. You're probably going to be like, wait, I busted my ass for that money. I worked hard for that money. I created all these different companies and jobs and whatever, you know, to take care of people. Now, this is what I would say though. This is, this is what I would say. If they're going to go after the rich people, because for them to say, Hey, the, the state of Washington is going to take that money and do what with it. Okay. If they're going to do stuff like that, this is what they should do. There is 328, roughly, million United States citizens. There's 328 million people here. If they're taking $2 billion, $2 billion from this one dude, <laughs> why don't they give... Why don't they give $2 million per person that lives in the United States? That'll be roughly what? 640, 50, 656, 654 billion dollars. That's crazy. Dude, if they were to give $2 million a person, even okay, like let let like even if you said we're gonna give everybody a hundred thousand dollars, but you guys have to stay home for the next three years to get rid of the pandemic. Done. Right. And, and and I want to be clear on something. So I just continued reading, reading the article. It says the bill sponsors Noel Frame, a Seattle Democrat, states that the measure is an attack on the state's richest residents. It's actually really isn't about them. It's about the working people of Washington who right now are disproportionately paying for community investments like public education, public health, you name it. So they're saying that this is supposed to go back into the public, but it's all about a ratio, right? I mean, if you think about it, if Jeff, Jeff Bezos makes almost $200 billion or he's worth almost $200 billion, this is really a 2% tax. I mean, if I made a hundred grand 
and I'm, I'm worth a hundred grand and I had to pay a tax of 2%. What is that? $2,000. It's the same ratio. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So, and I think that, you know, I'm sorry to say that, you know, if you're making a lot of money, the rest of the world kind of needs you right now. Like getting a, a stimulus check of 600 bucks is going to do you what? Yeah. I, and I, and you know what? I think, I think they should, I think what they should do is they need to get all the richest people in the world for each country and every single, every single legislator, Senator, president, minister, queen, queen, whatever have you out there, get together and say, look, you guys have this amount of money. If you guys give like this guy $2 billion and if we can give, I, and I said, um, I said 2 million, but 2 million per person, but like, like you said, a hundred thousand or, or a couple hundred thousand that that's, that's a scratch in the bucket for them. Why not say like, Hey, look, how much money, money, money do you actually have to touch and spread? This is what we're going to do. We're going to give you, th this is where, dude, they should say, Hey, let's just give you a tax cut off a tax. We're thinking the same thing. Some kind dude. of write off. Yeah, let's give you a write off for for you giving X amount of money to for people to be able to pay for their rent, their mortgage, their their kids, their food, their whatever. And you know, you're going to have a couple numb nuts that are going to be there like, "Ooh, I have all this money now. I'm going to go buy myself a new Tesla." No. What they should do is they 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 should be like, "Hey, we're going to give you this card that has that is specifically for food." You can't use it anywhere else. Bring but back the food stamps. There you go. Bring back the food stamps. 